Good morning, everybody. Today, I would like to share with you my newest design team project. This is for the rubber buggy. And I have used the Enchanted by Memory Place collection. What I have created for you this time is a chest that I constructed out of altered cigar boxes. So this took a little while, but like I said, it was just so easy and so much fun. And I think you'll really enjoy this one, something a little bit different. Um, and this collection was so easy to work with. I wasn't sure what I was going to do or you know, what I thought about this collection uh, because it, it is floral and it has fairies. This honestly would be a perfect collection to use for like um, if you were going to keep track of your flower gardens, um, make notes about those planning times. This also would be a perfect collection to use very feminine to an album or something as I've made here. This little chest it's three levels. It will hold a ton. Let me see if I can show you the front. How cute. I just absolutely had such a good time making this. It was just so fun and so easy. As I said, these are cigar boxes that I have altered. So let me go ahead and show you what they hold. Okay, we'll go from the top down this time. Normally it is from the bottom up, but we'll go from the top down. I found this on the web. Shoot, sorry. Okay, on the very top, this is the smallest one. This lid just, and you can see I've papered even the underside, of course. This paper is just, I love it. It is really pretty cool, pretty darn cool. And this top box, as you can see, there are a ton of journaling cards as well as tags. I mean, this collection, ladies, this collection has so much in it. It's, it's flipping amazing. There's so much you could do with these. And again, very, very cool. These could be photo mats as well, but there's a ton of them here. So that's what I have housed in this top box with the lid that just merely lifts off. So for this cigar box, I mainly cut this lid off and then did what I was going to do, all the decorating and everything inside. And of course, decorated the outside as well, as you can see. I like to use these sayings. Um, whenever they are on some of the paper collections and some of the papers, I feel like if they've gone through the trouble to leave, you know, a quote of some type, you know, that's the least I can do to incorporate that into the project. So this says leave a little sparkle wherever you go. I thought that was just really fun and very cute. So I went ahead and I popped that on and I gave it a curvy dimensional effect. I just thought that worked out well. Let me show you on the back. As you can see, whoa, they all line up across the back. So it's nice and smooth. And I did put feet. Let's take this off again. <laughs> There's feet on the bottom. Let me see if I can show you those. Uh, yeah. See the feet on the bottom? Those were unfinished wooden pieces, and I went ahead and I painted them, and I used some stickles just to give them a little bit of pop. So that's what is on those. Let's go ahead and take these out and set these off to the side. Now, in the second box, I went ahead and I cut out the front of this box and left some sides, and then inside, I made sure that I added a track, if you will. I built up each side and across the back so that the drawer had a direction to go and it had a track, if you will, just like on a regular chest of drawers. So opening this, I decorate even the insides of these. I just think, you know, that finishes it off. So that's just me. I prefer to do it that way. But how cool, right? 
So inside and of course, even on the bottom, but inside in this drawer, which the drawer itself is a smaller cigar box that I adjusted the track so that it would fit just this one. And so inside, cute, cute, look at the cute little fairy in here. Well, hang on. Okay. As I said, I decorated the inside, papered the inside. So the cut aparts and the uh, fussy cutting items in this collection, there are so many you can use and they're just so stinking cool. What I did with this was I went ahead and used these. Look how large these are. These are so cool. Again, these are some more of the cut aparts. These are postcard size. Absolutely postcard size. They're, they're just amazing. You could send these as a postcard or you could use these and you could go ahead and make a booklet or you could go ahead and make a card with these. You know, attach these to some cardstock and you could have your sentiment on the outside. You could write a note on the inside. Very cool. They're just, they're great because they're so large. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take this out, set it to the side. And then the very bottom, it has a fold down. So what I did on this was I cut the whole front of this cigar box off. Of course, I have added some extras on here to add some dimension and decorate just a little bit. Um, all of the hardware and everything. Um, as I said, I have a, a materials list listed on my blog, but you can get all of this very, very cool collection over at the rubberbuggy.com. Check it out. They have a lot of new product that just came in also from the show, Creativations, a lot of cool stuff. In this bottom, what I have created is an album. This is a waterfall album. And I'm sure many of you remember and know I love waterfalls. Waterfalls to me are just so cool. Um, no, I cannot say that I'm the creator of the waterfalls. I am not. Um, but I thought it's a great idea because for such a small space that it takes up, oh my gosh, it offers so much room. This album is a five by seven. And to keep it closed, what I made is I call it um, a book band. So as you can see, I use the papers. So this is the book band. This slides off just like a belly band. But, you know, I wanted to use some of these very cool papers. I, I love these papers. And I thought they just showed so well. And I thought, well, that, you know, that's a cool idea. Something different. Whoops. To make a book band. So, and again, if you guys know me, you know how much I love waterfalls. This is the album, the waterfall album. This is the front. You can see there's a very cool fairy. She's amidst the flowers. And then you have newsprint carries over to the back side. Very, very cool collection. Very cool collection. Again, this is called The Enchanted Collection by Memory Place. Check it out. What I've done, again, is a double waterfall in here because it takes up such a small area, but look how much space. My gosh, there is a ton. There are eight waterfalls on each side. What I did was I made a larger and then a smaller one that fits underneath. The larger page, smaller page. I alternated these completely through. So there is a ton of space. And then at the bottom, the very bottom on each side, I went ahead and put a pocket. The pocket also holds some of the cut aparts and the journaling cards. Very cool. Love them, love them, love them. Everything is completely papered and decorated. It just was a super, super fun project to do. The same on this side. 
you've got the pocket down at the bottom. You could put a ton more stuff in here than I have. But that was just to show you the pocket at the bottom when you lifted all of the flaps up. I was going to put something on the back side of each page, but I thought, you know what? That would be a great place to put photos, really. Then you could have photos in the front, photos on the back, or you could use this. And you could apply some of these journaling cards to the back. And you could go ahead and make notes about a photo that you're including. I also thought, you know, how cool would that be to go ahead and put a box in the center to hold a fancy schmancy pen? And I happened to have this pen and I thought, I really want to use that. <laughs> I just thought it went with the feminine touch of this overall project. So I made that box to hold the pen and I think it worked out great. But this was really, really a fun and easy project to do. I, this again, this was also, um, I knew I wanted to do something. I didn't want to do the typical um, tie it closed with a ribbon or a magnet. And I thought, well, you know what? This kind of dresses it up even more and adds to it. So that's why I went ahead and chose to use the book band is what I'm calling it because it's really bigger than a belly band. So I thought book band, sure. As you can see, I even papered the very bottom. And again, have the leave a little sparkle wherever you go. I incorporated that across the bottom. And I juiced up my feet a little bit with some stickles. Give them a little sparkle. But everything, like I said, all of these papers and everything that you see, these all are in that collection. It is huge. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's easy to work with which is what I love. I love when a collection is easy to work with. When you get it and you open it and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, what can I do with this? Before I started, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with it? And as soon as I saw it, I thought, you know what? This is going to be perfect. Absolutely perfect for what I want to do. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope that you check it out. Be sure to subscribe. Click that subscribe button down at the bottom. Check out also, be sure and check out my blog. I have lots and lots of single photos on there along with the materials list, links as well. Um, so check it out. I will be doing another giveaway soon. So you don't want to miss out on that. And we'll be having tons more creations coming up. So check it and hope to see you again soon.